Hello and welcome to SnowRunner News and we have new mods in SnowRunner Mods IO. And before we go any further, I'd like to thank all the latest load of subscribers. We've had absolutely hundreds more subscribers over the last month. I think we've getting up for about 700 subscribers over the last few weeks. So I want to thank everyone for that. And this is the 50th edition of SnowRunner News. So it's quite amazing that in 12, 13 weeks, we've had 50 episodes already. That shows, just goes to show you how many updates and everything else was going on. And of course, all the mods, 425 mods in total so far. So a big thanks for everyone for watching and subscribing and liking and sharing because without you guys doing all that then the channel wouldn't be growing so so well and SnowRunner News wouldn't be growing so well. I'm really, really chuffed with it. But it's all down to you guys so I'll keep making them as long as you keep watching them. Anyhow, so this week for SnowRunner News it's been pretty pants. We haven't really had a lot and the one little bit of news we had the other day I forgot to tell you in the last video. And now this is for PC and basically it was the player profile can now be closed as there was a problem with it in custom scenarios and proving grounds. And the missing skin for the Chevrolet Kodiak C70 is back in there where I don't know what happened to that but that's all there is for updates for SnowRunner this week which is pretty pants really but what can we do so we've heard nothing on anything whatsoever they're being very quiet at the moment and we'll have to just wait and see do what we do best we've spent the last what 12 getting on for 13 weeks now since the game's been released and waiting so we will have to carry on waiting but we do have new mods in snowrunner mods io and the first one we have is the ural 4320rsk by cot 76rsk and basically that is as it has that has its own add-ons and you see in the pictures there looks pretty nice mod i do like those trucks they're pretty nice trucks and then we have the ford bronco 1983 by cole esco and he's tuned that he's added new colors three types of wheels improve the interior on that one as well and then the next one is a new map which is improving grounds by frank the tank and he's added obstacles to test your vehicles then the next mod is the Canadian Runner 01 called The Town by Mad Martin QC and it's the first in a series called The Canadian Runner basically and he's got quite a few different screenshots on that and it all looks absolutely spectacular, really does fair play. And then the next one we have is the Light Realism Overhaul by Rachel TGG and on there we had heavier cargo, all engines 10% more torque fuel capacity has been changed for more real life and there's new fuel capacities on the trailers and then we have realistic weight off-road trailers now this is by rachel tgg as well and this is for used with the previous mod the light realism overhaul so the trail all the trailers are heavier apart from the skate there's a fuel increase in the tanker trailers and the fuel weight has been increased as well and you've just got to use the light realism overhaul mod for that and then we have the Freight Liner by Aceris Senpa or Senpai. Fixed steering on that because the steering was an issue. You turn it left and it'd always go left then right. And added mud tires and different paint. And then he's also done the Aceris Senpa Mighty Kodiak. And he's added monster tires on that and a larger lift kit. I think that's all it's got on there. There wasn't anything in the description. So it is what you see. And then we have Frogs 2007 Chevy Silverado by TNB XO Froggy. And he's done a full interior on that work with working mirrors, full color palette available, three engines and three gearbox or transmissions. And he's got full throttle suspension on it. So looking nice that one. Nice bit of kit. Righto, that's it for today's SnowRunner News and SnowRunner Mods IO. Well, for this week, because we haven't got much going on this week. Now, I might go through and go through exactly what we do know, uh, what's coming and the breakup of all the other phases. I might drop that in on Saturday. I'll see how time goes by, because I'm doing quite a lot of videos at the moment. So, if you're interested in seeing any of my SnowRunner Let's Plays or the task walkthrough or any of that, come and have a look. I'm going to get on some live streams this weekend as well, as I've nearly top in the 5,000 subscribers and it's all down to you guys for watching and appreciate that very much the channel's growing at a remarkable rate it really is 
Right out, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.